Have you been thinking about an 8 clear cup or other ferric cup, but not quite sure it'll fit your torch? How do you know what style TIG torch you have? How do you know if this cup, this kit will fit your torch? This quick video should help clear things up. Let's do it. When you're looking to upgrade from the standard hardware that comes with most TIG torches, maybe to something like this, a Furic 8 Pro cup, you want to be sure that it will fit your particular torch. Well, fortunately, there's a pretty easy way to tell. These are all 17, 18, and 26 style torches. Various different manufacturers. But the one way to tell is if your hardware looks like this, where your collet body is almost 2 inches long, you have a 17, 18, or 26 style torch. Could be any of them. Doesn't really matter. This Furic adapter kit for 17, 18, 26 style torches will make the Furic cups work with your torch, if that's what you have. That's another picture of it there. It's got two black insulators that come with it. Slightly different. One of them will fit. Now, there's nothing really wrong with the standard hardware that comes with them. It's a bit long. The, the long tail is a bit long for real work. It's good for practice. Even when you shorten it up with a little button on the end, it's, it's, you can only shorten it up so much. But to get better gas shielding, as well as just shorten up the overall length of the torch, it really helps to use this adapter kit. And once you have the adapter kit, it opens up a lot of possibilities for using all kinds of different hardware, all kinds of different Furic cups and monster size cups, gas lens cups, clear cups, all kinds of things. This is an 8 Pro cup here. It's one of my favorite cups for just all around AC and DC work. And you can see it shrinks it quite a bit where you can get in some tight areas like up inside some square tubing or things like that where you might have to reach. 9 and 20 style torches are a little bit smaller. They use a smaller collet body, not even an inch long. So if your hardware looks like this, you've got a 9 or a 20 style TIG torch. Could be air-cooled, could be water-cooled. They both use the same hardware. The good thing about these torches is all you need to make the Furic cups work is this one little gas lens here. Here they are side by side, the standard collet body with the gas lens. And that is a part number 45 v44 if you're getting the 332 size they're typically sold in two packs you can choose any size with the furic 8 cup i recommend a 332 as an all-around size you can weld anything from razor blades to fairly thick aluminum with a 332 electrode at 200 amps so you put the o-ring on the base of the gas lens and that lets the number eight clear pro cup just slide right on there and you're going to see lots of benefits, one of which is just much better gas shielding. The other thing that I really noticed is it just lights everything up way better for me, helps me see where I'm going, helps me stay on track. To make things easy, I also put together a couple of combo kits where you get a clear cup as well as a pink ceramic alumina cup. There's a kit for 17, 18, 26 style torches and a kit for 9, 20 style torches just to make things convenient. All you need to do to swap cups is just remove the o-ring and then you can put an alumina style cup on there when you need that now once you have the right hardware for your torch it opens up a lot of options for both clear cups as well as ceramic cups the clear ones will just slide on like this clear jazzy 10 and you can see that the gas coverage envelope there is just much larger than what you would get off a standard Call it body. Your visibility is going to improve. You'll see way ahead of where you're going and behind. It just lights things up. It's like a light bulb. That's a, just it's a tungsten up inside a clear cup, so it really is just like a light bulb. The ceramic cups just remove the O-ring and they'll all fit on there too. So it, again, it really opens up the possibilities for you. Just getting the adapter kit or the 45V44, depending on which torch you have. So once again, if you're if your hardware looks like this, you have a 17, 18, 26 style, and you need a Furic adapter kit to make the Furic cups work. If your hardware looks like this, you have a 9, 20 style, and all you need is the 45V44 to make it work. And again, for convenience, once you know what style torch you have, you can just select one of these combo kits, and that will open up a lot of options for you. I did a short production run of fixtures a few years back using this cup, and I showed how the, that a certain size filler metal was only good up to a certain amperage range. And then it started giving you some problems. So at 140 amps here using 1 16th ER70 wire, 
it did fine. But going up to 170 to try to get a bigger fillet, you can see how that tip of that rod is balling up before I can ever get it into the puddle. It's working, it's just that it will work even better if I, if I increase the filler wire size. So in order, to, in order to get the correct size fillet weld on here, I had to feed so much rod with the 1 16th that I wanted to, to jump up a little bit. So this is working much better. The tip of the rod no longer balling up and blobbing in the puddle. It's feeding in there nice and I got a little bit larger size fillet weld, which is what I wanted. Sometimes it's really helpful to be able to look through a cup depending on your perspective and the angle and where you have to position your head. And this 8 Pro cup, it, it'll, it'll not only light everything up, but sometimes you're, you actually can see where your rod is feeding right through the cup. You don't always need that, but it is nice when you do need it. And a good example of when you need it is when you need to weld all the way around or both sides of a piece of angle. The outside's really easy, but the inside, sometimes you have to extend the electrode out to be able to see what's going on. So being able to look through the cup and see the tip of your electrode, see where exactly your filler rod is going, can be a big, big help. Even on welds that are on the bench right in front of you, nothing in the way, you don't need to look through the cup or anything like that, a clear cup can be very helpful in just lighting everything up and helping you see a little bit better. You really notice a difference when you switch back from a clear cup to a pink alumina cup. It's kind of like somebody dims the lights a little bit. Now, if you've got 23 year old eyes and 2020 vision or better even and you can see everything maybe you don't want to fool with a clear cup but it, it really helps me I'm not 23 anymore and I can use a little help sometimes notice how it's lighting everything up around here I can see several ripples behind and where I'm going I hope you can see it as well as I can I've tried to make this look just like it does under the helmet of course there's a difference because this is what you're seeing here as a camera as opposed to through a helmet but it's pretty dang close a lot of people like to use a number five cup for aluminum and it works great in some applications especially on like a, a lap joint or an outside corner joint even where you don't have to extend the electrode very far at all and the, it, the, the joint actually helps kind of trap the shielding gas a little bit so for a T joint or a lap joint it, it really works great and you can see me here kind of raising the arc length a little bit as I add filler and as the height of the puddle grows a little bit that keeps me from having to clean so many electrodes so with a number 5 cup, you can get by with probably 12 to 15 CFH of shielding gas, which is kind of a saving sometimes. It's just not the best cup for every particular situation. And here's an example of where it's probably not the best cup is when you have to run a bead on an edge like this. You need a little bit more, more of an argon envelope and possibly some more stick out where you can see what's going on. I'm just running a bead on this edge here to kind of simulate a filling, filling in of a hole, sort of. You would run a bead maybe around the edge first, get that done, maybe let it cool for a second, and then come back and fill it in. Hole fill is a really common, really common task in, in a welder's life. You know, whether it's a repairing a pontoon or a rivet that wallered out, a rivet hole that wallered out or something like that. It's just, it's pretty easy, but it really helps to have really good shielding and it can also help to be able to see through the cup. It could be kind of a slow go sometimes. You don't want to get in a hurry. And then when you get something like this finally filled up and sealed up, you might want to give it a few extra amps and kind of let it soak, let it sink in a little bit, kind of punch it in a little bit so it's not just barely sealed. And then when you're finished, taper off and swirl the arc around so that you don't leave a crater hole, crater crack. I use the 8 clear cup on a lot of different stuff. I leave it on the torch a lot of times because it's so versatile, good for both aluminum and steel. I, all I need to do is kind of like swap electrodes out when I switch. A couple little quick changes on the welding machine and I'm, I'm good to go. A very good all-around cup for DC and AC. Here I'm coming up on the terminating the arc on this little cube project and once again I swirl the arc as I taper off the, the, uh, the amperage so that I don't leave a crater crack which would be a leak in the case of if you're building a reservoir or something that needed to be airtight or watertight. For both AC and DC whether you need to look through the cup or not it does help light everything up gives you good gas coverage lets you use a longer than normal stick out longer than you can without a gas lens that's, that's for sure. And the biggest benefit that for me at my age with my eyes is the way it 
just illuminates everything and lets me see where I'm going. Lets me see the details of the puddle a little bit better because it really does just kind of light everything up. I know I'm sounding like a broken record here, but uh, I started off using these cups just so I could produce better welding videos. And now I use clear cups all the time.